So last time, we got to the very top of Ganon's Tower after a five hour stream. And the fucker hit his key. I set that, but I forgot that I set that. So, Ganon's Tower Key is floating around somewhere in Hyrule. And we've pretty much cleaned out everything except for the Shadow Temple, which we were not able to visit at all because Din's Fire wasn't Ganon's castle. So this could be a regular two-hour stream. This could be a half-hour stream. All depending on how quickly we find Ganon's key. I don't normally like to do very short streams. I like to give people enough time to wander in, go for at least two hours. But, uh, you know, the other thing I was thinking about playing was, well, I'm still in the middle of Rayman. And, uh, Monster Hunter Rise. There's a new Monster Hunter game with a demo that just came out. And I've never played a Monster Hunter game. But I'm a little interested. So, I was thinking I might try the demo out of that. But that's not something I want to do today. I want to give that a whole stream. I'm in the mood for something a little more chill today. Hello, Darian. Have you played Monster Hunter? Now, everyone in the Bowser Discord talks about it. They love that game. Or that series, rather. I wish I could remember where... I, I'll bet... I think I only saw two... Uh, I only got two Way of the Hero Gossip Stones. And I think one of them was the Light Arrow, and the other one must have been Ganon's Boss Key. I wish I remember where that one was. Now, from what I understand, Monster Hunter sounds like it's somewhere between, like, uh, Pokemon and Skyrim. That's fitting music, I guess. I guess the, the Shadow Temple at the bottom of the well do share a music track, don't they? Uh, I have not heard. What is Capcom's new policy? And this is Master Quest Shadow Temple. Alright. This music is going to get old fast, isn't it? Alright, well there's that. What could the crates be for? I'm glad the hover boots don't use magic. That would be unnecessary. Oh, I bet I need to bring a crate down this way. Since I can cross that gap with the hover boots. They're prohibiting lewd artwork of their characters. Good luck! Stream Capcom games unless actively commentating on it. So long plays. What a, what a thing to tar to target. 
What, what's the benefit of that? Are they losing money to long plays? Those are some very bizarre decisions, yes. Now the compass would be great here. Since this is the Master Quest version and I don't know where the chests are. And I know there are plenty of invisible chests in the Shadow Temple. Ronimo tried to do that with Awesome Knots. They tried to say, no, you can't you can't make porn of our characters. And obviously that didn't saying that didn't stop anything. I don't think they can legally do that. Like determine how their characters are, are drawn, for example. I don't know though. I'm not a copyright expert. I I would hope they don't have any rule over the domain of fan art. Regardless of the content of said fan art. Can't monetize off Capcom games. That's the... Yeah, that's the Nintendo method. Nintendo pretty much claims all of their videos such that... For a while they were just blocking their videos so that you just couldn't play them. Or there were there were a lot of cases historically of Nintendo taking down videos, blocking them worldwide, namely uh, namely hacks or things that they felt competed with their things. Like um, Super Mario Brothers X was one. I know Vinny had his uh, his Chaos Complex. Mario, it was a Mario World ROM hack that was taken down for like years before he could put it back up again, when uh, Nintendo's policies lightened. But even nowadays, they claim all their videos so that uh, you can't make money off of them, but they can make money off of them. Which basically means that pro streamers just have nothing to gain from playing Nintendo games. Surprised how easy it was to find those medallions. I thought that they would be mixed in with the item pool. Apparently they're not. Apparently they still have to be dungeon completion rewards. Which means you just have to complete the dungeons. That makes it very easy. Very predictable. Which is kind of against the spirit of a randomizer. I, I, I said that last stream. I don't like that. I wish they were just in the items and I had to find the six medallions sitting out in the world somewhere. I like the fight music better than the temple music. It's magic. I imagine Ganon's tower key will be in a big chest. I wonder if it'll be in a key chest, though. You know, the ornate blue and yellow ones. I needed a key back in the other place as well. I don't believe those crates are there for nothing. They have to serve some purpose. Is there stuff under them? 
Are they just supply crates? That would be very generous if that's the case. Is that a... That's a block of time. Oh, that's mean. I guess that does make it necessary to actually use the, uh... Actually use the lens of truth instead of just feeling your way around. Follow the left wall. That's what I'm gonna do. What are you? Are you gonna require me to shoot all the things? I'll bet you are. No, maybe not. like a hookshot target or anything, is there? Okay. Well, I'll go back and I'll check the other room. Where does this go? This goes to Redeads. I can take Redeads. I wonder if that's a bug that they can't freeze adult like. I thought that was the case in Hyrule Castle Town because of the way the the way the camera was, because it's not a normal map. It's you, this camera's in the center of like the rotating graphic. All right, compass is good. I can see chests now. One of them was fake. I think you can. I think you can kill these at least temporarily with enough damage. Yeah. And if you take out enough of them, the guy get, gets mad and comes out. Took out three of his hands. Four of them. Hey, cut that out! This music should tell you how much of a threat I find this boss. Come on. You're not gonna have any hands left if you don't come out. Alright, what are you? It's a small chest. I almost got all the piece of hearts, even. How many am I up to? I am three short of getting every piece of heart in the game. I was just trying to get through this quickly, and I ended up doing- This is how randomizers tend to go. I ended up having to do everything in the game anyway. Alright, where's the exit? There you are. Hey. 
I like the amount of customization there is in this one. For, like, for the sake of... I can see why this one has a speedrunning community. You can program the logic to, like, minute detail. Which is nice if you really want to get that detailed about it. But in terms of, like, basic features, I, I like the Majora one better. Aside from just liking Majora's Mask as a game a little bit better. It's just stuff I wonder why they didn't do. Like the, uh... Forcing you to have the, the bean seller only sell one item instead of ten. Only being able to randomize up to four slot... Or four slots in the shop. It's like the, the randomizer creators are trying to limit how easy they think you can make it, I suppose. I don't know, just options are good for however you might want to play it. Which I like the idea of getting to a shop and it being a whole eight potential item slots. That's exciting. I guess shops were, uh, shops were smaller in Majora's Mask, weren't they? They only sold three items each instead of eight. It's still firing its laser. It still thinks it has me. Lasers are there should really set off bomb flowers. Alright, what do you do? I wonder if Din's Fire can activate these. For science. Can. But what did that do? Okay. And this is the umbrella room, I believe. Unless that's changed. Or is the umbrella room behind the. Maybe I'm mis misremembering. No, this isn't the umbrella room. I have so much health that nothing in this game is a threat. Wait, those are normal rupees. Are, are those, those are fake silver rupees? It's like a room that you would think is full of invisible things, but actually doesn't have any things in it at all. I should have paid attention to how much these are worth, just out of curiosity. Oh no, they are actual silver rupees. I was gonna say, it'd be bizarre otherwise. Let's 
small key. And map. Yep. Even a randomizer doesn't change how you go through a dungeon that much. Oh, is that what the, uh, is that what the eye? I bet that's what the frozen eye switch did. Brought to you by Apple. Could still be a heart piece. Deku shield. I guess it'd be a nice medal of honor, at least, if I were to uh, get all the uh, all the heart pieces on my way to Ganon. We already cleaned out his castle, so the only places left are here in the Shadow Temple. Oh, thank you. I got Din's fire. I did get Din's fire. Here in the Shadow Temple, there's that small chest in the Haunted Wasteland that could be a heart piece. I don't th I don't, don't imagine Ganon's tower key would be in a small chest. Still here. find a big ornate chest. There's also the, the boss key for here in the Shadow Temple. glad I don't have to do this without the lens of truth. That would suck. I wonder if the logic accounts for that. Or if it assumes, you know, if you're playing a randomizer, you're probably good enough that you can do it without the lens of truth. Which, it's not as bad as the... It's not as bad as the, the invisible platforms the owl has in Majora's Mask. I remember Jack and I got stuck on those because we didn't have the Lens of Truth.
Imagine entering a room that way, accompanied by an explosion. That's an action hero entrance. Brown chest. Yeah. They just added a bunch of silver rupees to the Master Quest Shadow Temple. Like, every room with five of them now has ten of them. Stop. That. I guess there's not a rotating skull in this room anymore. chest in here. Oh, hello. Big chest? Please be a big chest. I can't tell. It's a little brown chest. The worst kind of chest. utilizes the hover boots a little more than the uh, base shadow temple did. This would be annoying without the uh, the D-pad. I'm glad I have the D-pad. got rid of the of the flame eye. So they actually made this room easier in Master Quest. Oh no, they, they can't freeze you as an adult. Oh, 
Good room. Is that all that's in here? Is a sculptula? Who's there? Is that you? Oh. Yes, Navi, it is me. Good to see you. That's another small key. It's also possible that, uh... We could get the... We could finish the Shadow Temple and get the final spiritual stone. Activate the Zelda cutscene and she will give us Ganon's key. In place of the Song of Time. This room used to have spikes in it. I think he walked into my sword range. Ooh, big chest. Quiver. Okay. I guess I didn't have all the quivers yet. chests in this room. So if I still can go above the this platform, it's just still the sculptula up there. I'm glad they show you that there's a chest in the room, whether it's uh, summonable or invisible or what have you. Because otherwise it would be very easy to miss chests. Was this made harder? In the original, you fought a couple of Stalfos. Daddy. No, go down. Go on. Get off. To the sharks with you. Spooky mask, free to borrow. A sad wooden mask. Now how do I open that door in this version? I don't think it was locked originally. You could just walk through. Also, who designed this temple? There's a river next to a river. Like, in-universe. Now I can Scarecrow up there, but I believe that's also just a Sculptula. So there has to be a way to open that, uh... Open the bars on that door. In here. I 
guess I could go up there and see if it was just a Sculptula or not. What is that? That's a button. Okay, well, question answered. Is it still the Scarecrow song or something else? wasn't trying to do that. I don't need my horse right now. It's hard to be precise with a stick. Well, it is not the Scarecrow. So, how am I going to get up there? see how fancy I can be. Oh, I cannot be fancy. Maybe. I kind of miss the frantic music now. Now it's just silent. Which is appropriate for the Shadow Temple. When you randomize music in the randomizer, sometimes it just breaks. What's in here? I see a like like, and I don't like like that. Hello. There's a cool room, cool torture room. I see a hole in the floor. What is that? Something. Something is here, and it's invisible, but it's invisible even to the lens of truth. Could this be a rendering error? Oh, hello. You're just hiding in the floor? He needed to be blown out. He needs repeatedly blown out. Well, this is a uh, this is a twist on the fight, I suppose.
Boss key? Or small key? I think that's just a small key. Yeah. Odds are dwindling that Ganon's key is here. I guess it'll be thematically appropriate if Zelda has it. Yeah, it's fine. This is good Shadow Temple music. As long as there's music. Are there no chests in this room? Is there no reason for me to be here? even more appropriate music now. I realize this is specifically horse race music, but it just, it could just as easily just be minigame music. Is that a Deku scrub? That sounded like a Deku scrub. Aw, oh, man. That's it. I guess I should have figured. Oh, wait. Hey! Okay, so it wasn't a chest. There was a heart piece you could get out of one of those rotating skulls. Which, because of the randomizer, could be any item. So it was important, like not getting eaten by a like-like important. Some good magic fire armor those guys have. Impervious to the big Goron sword. Oh, oh, that's it. That has to be it. We already got the dungeon boss key, so that has to be another boss key, which has to be Ganon's. There we go. He hid it in the Shadow Temple. That's some place no one would ever want to go willingly. so close to the end of the Shadow Temple that we might as well fight Bongo Bongo. Ah, oh, what is that? That is a horrible effect. The Lens of Truth got caught in the, in the bubble fire. What a stupid name for those things. Bubbles. I wonder where that comes from. Because that's the case with uh, I, I think it's a Japanese thing with, uh, like, fireballs, or fireball enemies being called bubbles. Because that's the case in Paper Mario as well. Also kind of a pointless final room before the boss. I say that and then die to it. Oh, and we lost the music. 
Link died, and suddenly the, the Shadow Temple is no longer a joke. He has to take it seriously now. Might as well light arrow him. That'll do some damage. I think, do the arrows damage him? Or are they just taking his hands out? Maybe the arrows just stun him. Yep, good boss music. Yeah, I'll just use normal arrows. That seems like a better idea. Why no stun? Isn't this the part where I hit him in the... I thought I hit him in the eye with an arrow, I guess not. I do. Okay. I just missed a bunch. A joke of a boss for the super scary shadow temple. Even setting aside his appearance, that is not a difficult boss by any means. a rupee. Yeah, we are officially out of good items. A tycoon's wallet. Oh, that's what the that's what the the biggest wallet is called. That's neat. We never did get the warp songs. Those are still floating around somewhere. I guess since I've come this far, I could get the last few items floating around. I at least want to see what, uh, what Zelda gives us. What are we missing? We did the frogs. We didn't give the... We didn't give the bunny hood to the guy in the field. We're drawing a younger Dr. Willie. I don't remember how much Wily appeared in the uh, Battle Network anime, NT Warrior. I watched that a while ago in Japanese, and I, I enjoyed it. Do it. I enjoyed it as a Saturday morning cartoon, and how it tied with the Battle Network series. It wasn't anything amazing in terms of writing, like Sonic X was, but.
Oh. Well, okay. I guess I never returned to the uh, Temple of Time after getting all of the medallions. So that that was the that was the light arrows slot. I wonder if there's a way to re to enable cutscenes. The Majora randomizer had it as, as an option whether you wanted cutscenes enabled or disabled. It seems like this one can only have them disabled. Which again, it feels like it feels like it was built almost exclusively for speedrunners. So where are we going? We are going to check out Zelda's item, and we're going to go talk to the bunny, the, the, the running man. Oh, we get this cutscene. No, we don't. Never mind. Oh, it's a piece of heart. I thought it was a... Uh, I thought it was just a... Uh, recovery heart. You can't get this now. And what does Zelda give us in our magical vision? She gives us a recovery heart. Okay, that makes sense. I always forget which way the running man runs. Oh, th there he is. It's great, good timing. Hey! Hey! I got a cool mask. Makes you faster. Bet I can backflip faster than you. Dude's being chased by skeletons. He doesn't give a shit. That broken knife is surely my work! I really want to repair it, but... Because of yesterday's eruption, my eyes are irritated! Looks like you're coming around! Do you want to play some more? Since the Great Deku Tree withered, more meanies have been appearing in the forest! I'm scared! Okay. Gettendorf, pitiful man. Oh, okay. This 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 running man has some interesting opinions. I don't think the I don't think the happy masks can be randomized. Which is a shame. I guess just because of how the the, the weird way that the map shop system works. Since it's not really a shop, it's it's a it's a quest series. I got my night stick. It's a stick that I use at night. Night stick. God, she can ice cavern. We got those Aura's Fountain stuff. Only things I can think of that are left are the Deku Theater with the Mask of Truth and that uh, structure out in the Haunted Wasteland. But there has to be more besides those because there's the... 
There's the songs we're missing. It is I, the Princess of Hyrule, Zelda! Oh, is that what the Mask of Truth says? Dead end. It's a shame the masks really don't do anything in this game. Or those three, rather. or something. We know the post salesman is the, uh, a bigger seed bag. What a seed bag that guy is. I was afraid you were going to forget about me. Now I'm free. Thanks. I'm Shiro the Carpenter. That's... That's kind of messed up. A Deku Scrub Carpenter. I guess that's no different from being like a, like a human butcher. You know, made of meat, works with meat. Yeah, I'm stumped. Where the last few things could be. So, uh, I'll check out the Haunted Wasteland. See if that's pro- that's probably one of the last two heart pieces. And then if I don't think of anything else, we'll just go to Ganon's castle and finish it. What's the best way to get out of here? I wish there was a quick way to the, the... I mean, there is a quick way to the Temple of Time. It's the Prelude of Light. We just don't have it. Despite what is appearing on the screen. Oh. I just remembered something. That... Maybe I already did that. Did I light these two torches? I think I did. Oh, there were a bunch of chests in the Fire Temple. There was more in the Fire Temple that I didn't do. I guess I could go through some more of that, see what's in there. But we know what's in there. It's warp songs and it's, uh, pieces of heart. Kakeriko. Andrew's terrified at my actions. I wish the cuckoos were set on fire. 
I mean, that'd be bad for me. That'd hit them a bunch of times, and that would anger them immediately. But it'd be funny to see a flaming chicken. I think because I know the Fire Temple is the Master Quest version. Which, it would be new for me to go through it. But, because I don't know it, it could take a while, so. I think I'm just gonna call it a short stream, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go take out Ganon. Sorry, Ganondorf. He's not Ganon yet. This is the, this is the birth of Ganon. It's interesting how the darkest timeline has the the lightest Ganon. Like after a point, they started making it so that uh, Ganon, like Ganon proper, not uh, not Ganondorf. Ganon was always Beast Ganon. He was big and monstrous and basically mindless. Whereas in uh, the first three Zelda games, not counting the not counting the Game Boy one, he was just kind of he was kind of like Bowser, a slightly smarter Bowser maybe. He was he wasn't mindless. He was just kind of a big, scary, monstrous doof goofball. He wasn't a mindless animal. Is all I'm saying. Which you would think would be, if any timeline had him as, like, totally mindless, it would be the Fallen Hero timeline. Because that's the one where, at the end of this game, he just gets completely consumed by his power and goes just nuts. Full demon mode. Also, the only time Ganon is, like, canonically killed that I can recall. They had the they had the bold move to do that in Zelda 1 and 2. Well, 1, specifically. Not realizing how much mileage they were going to get out of Ganon. But then there's a whole, like, there's a cult of followers in 2 that are trying to revive him, so... I guess that would signify he's not... Dead dead? Ganondorf playing for us the song of the Kikiri. Or the song of, uh, Happy Hylian Life, at least. Boy, it'd be fitting if we got the uh, Temple of Time music for Ganon's Tower. So if I'd gone straight for... Uh, if I'd gone looking for the key immediately at the end of last stream. It would have added an hour, about. Would have been a six hour finale stream, which would not be unheard of, but I'd been going for a long time. I just, want, I just wanted to stop by then. I need to plan for long streams, you know. What's that? Oh, you have a Deku shield. And what's that? Is that the Kikiri sword? Good grief! 
You'll never beat me by reflecting my lightning bolts, is that what they're called? And unleashing the arrows from bottom of the well. So this is a randomizer thing. If you get here, he'll actually tell you where the light arrows are. Since you need them to beat him. Hey you, don't cause any trouble. Uh, okay, since you said that, I'll stop being evil. I don't think he cares about Navi's opinion. We got some good dialogue at the very end for the Ganondorf encounter. No music, though. What is this? This is a, is this like a child temple music? It is inside Jabu. Navi, who is this? With my flame, I will burn him to the bone! Navi's pissed. Oh, it's the fire temple. It's creepy Islamic chanting for the Ganondorf fight. I never loved Ganondorf's voice in this game. It's kind of kind of goofy. It should not have me to do it instead. There we go. That's right, Ganondorf. Ganon is more terrified of the Kikiri Sword and Deku Shield than anything else. He was convinced this this little forest kid would would get to him totally unarmed. He didn't expect Link to come packing heat. Ah, yes. The whimsical castle escape scene. This is like a parody. So, you get kidnapped a lot? Oh yeah, every week. Does this happen a lot? Oh, yeah, there's a castle collapsing, tower breaking down. This is my weekly exercise regiment. If Adventure Time did Legend of Zelda. I finished that show. It was okay. It was hit and miss for me. I think it had some noticeable problems that kept me from loving it like a lot of people seem to, but I don't I don't regret watching it. You don't need to stop for me. <laughs> Observe how I fight, princess. I will continue attacking, and I won't stop attacking, and I'll continue attacking, and I won't stop attacking. And I'll continue attacking. And that is how you fight. Wow, it really works! Mito might know something about Saria's whereabouts. Oh, okay. Well, I'm, not, I'm not saving Saria right now. There was also a setting to skip the Ganon's castle collapse sequence entirely. 
Although if you die to uh, Ganon proper, then you reset up here and you do you have to do the sequence anyway. This isn't really so much an escort mission for Zelda as it, but well, it's, you're not escorting Zelda, she's escorting you. Like, nothing can hurt her. She's just worried that you'll die, and she'll fail her, her mission to get to the bottom of the tower. She's dodging everything like a champ. If Link takes any damage, she's like, oh my god, you idiot. Jill, please. Jill Valentine, please stay alive. House of Twins. Okay. I wish I could have the cutscenes. That would make it much more interesting with the scrambled texts. Ganon is victorious. He's made his transformation. And... Is this the normal boss music? Wasn't there a bug in the 1.0 version of this game where you can, uh, he knocks away your Master Sword for this fight. And I think you can, uh, I think if you save and reset the game, you're just without your Master Sword. Maybe I'm misremembering that. Very difficult, very thrilling Ganondorf battle. Sorry, Ganon battle. In which, as with most giant creatures, you just go for the legs. I'd love to see a mod for this game with actually difficult bosses. That would be fun. Oh, what's that? Is that? Well, you sound surprised that I managed to beat Ganon. Even with all that stuff, a wimp is still a wimp, huh? Excuse me? Lady, I just took him out! Oh, it's the D King Dodongo Volvagia music. Alright, that's how they want you to do it. You're supposed to stun him with the light arrows and then go behind his back. Even if he hits me... Okay, I, I do actually get sent flying. I'm trying to go for fancy uh, jump attacks now, and I shouldn't. Just keep doing what works through the legs. Aim for the spot between his legs. That's Ganon's weakness. there's some meaning if his tail is supposed to represent something. Ganondorf didn't have a tail. Ganon grows one and he, he literally grew a weakness. Oh, 
also contrary to popular belief. The big Oron Sword does more damage than the Master Sword in this fight. The Master Sword is not the strongest weapon against Ganon. In fact, it has no special properties whatsoever against Ganon or Ganondorf in this game, other than being required to trigger the final cutscene. The ceiling blow. the light arrows deal damage. Maybe I should be using those. He is an HP sponge, or a damage sponge. Alright, let's try the light arrows. No, still? This seems not right. Fairy. I think I have one. Yeah, I have one fairy. I also have some, some milk I can drink. I wonder if something was changed in the randomizer or if there are version differences that I'm not aware of. I don't remember it taking this long for him to go down in the second phase. What are you doing? Tell me. Huff, huff, I'm late! I'm late for a very important date! With me? I am one of the ghostly composer brothers of Kikariko Village. All the people in this village are born to serve the royal family of Hyrule. It's quite a statement. This torch is lit. That means... This is almost appropriate. Dialogue and music and everything. I don't know this music track. Ah, yes, everything's okay. Don't do that, I'm shy. <laughs> don't be shy. I can tell what you're thinking. Enter brave Zorog, thou true Navi! He's, he's gone bonkers. The Ocarina of Time opened the door, the Hero of Time with the Master Sword descended here. And so, Ganondorf would think he was a shopkeeper forever. Hey! Over here! Hoo-hoo! This wasn't scrambled? Maybe this is just the uh, credits theme. No, there's still dialogue. I was scared. A little. 
Just a little. Kakariko Village. Death Mountain Trail starting point. You borrowed a Goron mask. It'll make your head look big, though. You shouldn't wear it in public. Yahoo! Oh, hi, princess. Thank you. Let me express my joy with more wild rolling. A oh, rock and rolling. On the ocarina. Those wooden text boxes make me want to see a version of Link that, uh, he still doesn't speak, but he just communicates by holding up signs, like a manga character. If only I knew you would become such a handsome man, I should have kept the promise I made back then. There's a lot that can be interpreted from this Zelda ending dialogue. She's crazy, but she's a little less crazy than everyone else. It almost works. What about an hour 30, so... What was it? Three, four, four, five... Seventeen and a half hours for the run. I really did end up doing almost everything in the game. Which, again, tends to happen with randomizers. I guess that's more to do with my putting off temples, though. Like, temples have a lot of items in them. And instead, I end up running around the overworld doing everything but them for as long as, as, long as possible. Because I don't like temples. Although not so much in Majora. In Majora, there's more stuff in the overworld than there is in temples. Except for... I think next time we do Majora, we'll mix in the fairies and maybe the Skulchulas. These might turn into... These might turn into yearly things. Because I like, I like doing them a lot. Make uh, Majora randomized a summer game. Ocarina winter game. I also got a little burned out doing this, though. The solo streams are very, uh, very different in tone from the me and Jack together streams. Obviously, the credits theme is not randomized because it needs to needs to go with the cutscene. Would be interesting if it were in, in the pool, but a lot of places in the game, if it were randomized into that spot, it wouldn't have a long enough time to play to get through most of it. We never talked to the carpet salesman, because we didn't have the hover boots when we went to the desert. He could have had to. Maybe he had one of the warp songs.
So in the end, the places we didn't clean out are the carpet salesman, that one chest in the haunted wasteland, and the fire temple. I figure anything we did miss had to be in those spots. I was sorry I'd been playable in Hyrule Warriors. She could have been fun. I guess the... the potential for a Deku Tree moveset was already taken by uh, Lana. And they probably didn't originally want to have a little girl on the front lines until DLC came about and they threw that out the window for Medley. That's not a good screen. What's that screen doing? Why is that happening? Oh no, I'm gonna get rid of that screen. Well, the end. And then Ganondorf got executed on the word of two 11-year-olds. Happy endings for all. Well, that's the end of the Zelda randomizer. Uh, Jack and I will probably stream tomorrow. Next solo things I'll eventually be doing is I need to finish Rayman, and I uh, will still probably try that Monster Hunter demo, just because I've never tried one, and I am interested. But that, uh, that'll, be, that'll be on the Switch. We'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.